In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, we give him praise and thanks for his mercy and his goodness to the human family. If all the trees upon the earth were pens to write with, and if all the oceans were ink, and then another seven oceans to add to its supply, the writing would still not be enough to explain the glory of God. We confide in no other in our time of need, and we praise no other in our good fortune. And even if I live to be a thousand, it still would not be enough to thank God for his many blessings and gifts, for he is the exalted, all-powerful, all-wise. We thank God. We thank him for the Metuneter. The Metuneter, scriptures and writings from the Most High that came before Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. We the Metuneter. Study. Stay woke. We thank him for Moses and the Torah. We thank him for Jesus and the Gospels. And we thank him for Muhammad ibn Allah with the Quran. I greet you all in words of peace. To my Christian family, praise the Lord. To my Muslim family, assalamu alaikum. To my Hebrew Israelite family, shalom. Uh, to my people in the streets, what's good to you? And to my black conscious family, hotep. This is Brother Sharif once again coming to you. I took a little break from a one-on-one -on -one talk with you doing a lot of interviews in the community and you can get all those uh, timely interviews and messages on the Hour of Power. The Hour of Power, Sharif, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, Hamid, H-A-M-E-E-D. The Hour of Power. I have a lot of interviews on there with key people in the community uh, from a lot of different backgrounds and messages uh, like um, today. That's Hour of Power, Sharif Hamid. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share to people who can benefit from these messages. Well, 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 look what we have going on in Charlottesville, Virginia, on a campus that is supposed to be for learning. And now we have white nationalists, KKK um, there, causing disruption and really showing what America really thinks. And all this has started uh, actually back in May when they removed uh, uh, General Robert, Robert Lee's uh, statue, uh, I guess from the town there and on UVA's campus. Uh, either way, his, this has all started around that, showing their allegiance to a wicked demon. This General Robert Lee, who back in the 1860s was an American general uh, um, for the Confederate Army um, in the uh, Civil War, and he represented uh, the state of Virginia. And he's known to be a wicked man by their own accounts. By their own accounts, this is General Robert Lee. That's why they're in such an uproar, because he, has this, he had the same views that they have now, talking about white nationalists and others. And I'm going to talk about the others because that's the real dangerous thing of what's going on. So he was a general in the Confederate Army with the Confederate flag. That's been a raging and a controversial debate in the last couple years, as we know. Um, do you know in 1857, his father-in-law, which was George Washington Custis, not George Washington, the supposed first president, another demon who owned slaves. Um, but his father-in-law, George Washington Custis, died in 1857. And in his will, um, well, he owned slaves in Arlington, Virginia and Alexandria, Virginia. And in his, in his will, in his estate, he had uh, laid out some things that he wanted done with his slaves. So Robert Lee uh, had to take over this General Robert Lee with the statue, what's causing all this uproar, had to take over. And he took over the estate with the slaves and started figuring out. He tried to get an overseer to take over the estate. And he had a hard time doing that because certain things needed to be done within a five year um, uh, span, according to his father-in-law, which was this George Washington uh, Custis. So he had to actually take a break 
from uh, being a, a general after he surrendered, I believe in 1865 during this war, he actually took a break uh, from the army to take over the, 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 um, the, what was going on with the slaves. Oh, how nice of him. Oh, how nice of, this is what they're making a big uproar over, this General Lee. So he took over the state with the slaves in um, Arlington, Virginia, and Alexandria. And you can also, that was in 1857 when his father-in-law passed away. You can also look up, it's called the Norris case in 1859 in Arlington. Three slaves escaped from one of the uh, plantations there in Arlington that General Lee was uh, overseeing. Uh, I think the man's name was Wesley Norris, and then he had a cousin named Mary. Uh, no, it was a sister, Mary, and then another one was a cousin. They were all related. That's why it's called the Norris case. They actually escaped. They, they got to about the Pennsylvania border, about where I'm from, and they were returned. And it is documented, even though it's up for the debate, that when they were returned, General Lee flogged them, uh, tied them to a post, and beat them mercilessly. This is the three slaves, Wesley Norris, his sister Mary, and then a cousin. And once they were returned, they made it as far as the Pennsylvania border. They were returned a few days later, slave catchers, i.e. the police. That's what they did. This is what this is what this country's history. And it is documented that General Lee flogged them. And it's up, uh, it's up for the debate whether he actually flogged them. Who in the hell cares if he actually flogged him or not? The point is he had slaves. He had slaves and he's touted as one of the most powerful generals, i.e. is why he got a statue. Almost in every state, they have statues, streets, something commemorating and celebrating slave owners and people who have terrorized and oppressed black people. Columbus Street, Columbus University, Thomas Jefferson this, George Washington that, Quincy Adams this and that. All slave owners, slave catchers, and people who, even if they didn't actually have slaves, they were all for the oppression of black people. They have statues all over the place. All a little off topic, but on topic, you can go to Central Park in New York. I've done lectures about this before. You can go to Central Park in New York right now, and it's a big statue of a man there by the name of Marion Sims, who is uh, a given credit is the father of gynecology. You know, you know, a gynecologist is someone who takes care of women's health. You know, um, he is the father of gynecology. This Marion Sims. Well, he used to force operations on uh, on black women back in the 1800s. Yes, he would go from plantation to plantation, tie black women down on tables and would get people off the street and other doctors to help tie them down. And he would take forceps and all kind of tools and shove them up black women's vagina with no anesthesia. This Marion Sims. And it was a slave by the name of Anarcha. It is reported that he did at least 30 operations on her alone. And what does he get? A goddamn statue in Central Park, New York. And he is the father of gynecology. I'm just giving you documented proof right in front of our eyes of how America celebrates slave owners and people who have terrorized black people. They get streets named Christopher Columbus. He brought syphilis here, gonorrhea, not here to America because he never came to America. He never came here. He came to the islands like Jamaica and Haiti, but he never came here. And he damn sure didn't discover no America. How are you going to discover something that's already here? Native Americans and blacks named the Alamix, we were here thousands, five, 10,000 years ago, trading, living in peace and building civilizations. The Alamix and, and uh, Native Americans, they had, they're finding, they're unearthing the, the statues all the time with African features. How are you going to discover something that's already here? 1492, we've been here five, 10,000 years. So this is what America does. So now 
bringing it to 2017 to show you nothing has changed. Now, thousands of people, even on CNN, they have said this is the one of the worst uh, uh, hate um, um, was not a is not a parade, but one of the, the worst hate gatherings in recent decades. What's going on at the university there? Thousands of people and thousands more, which today is uh, Saturday the 12th. Uh, thousands more is supposed to gather there. And I just saw on CNN where uh, many people were hurt uh, because someone, one of these white nationalists got in a gray car and literally rammed it into human beings standing out there protesting. I mean, literally rammed it right into them. This was just on CNN today. These people ain't playing. Do you see how they're gathering there talking about they want their country back? They want their country back. And I'm gonna show you this book again. Look at that. Look at the, the lynching there. Look at all those people there. And I know what you're saying. Oh, brother Sharif, there you go again with that book without sanctuary. Yes, and I'm gonna keep on showing it to you until you get it. If you can take 18 years or more of miseducation in the public school system, you can listen to Brother Sharif give you the truth a couple times. Look at all them people gathering there. It ain't no different what's going on now. 18 years of miseducation, 12 years a slave in the school system. If you want for your bachelor's degree, that's another four years, which makes 16 years. And then if you want for your master's degree, that's 18 years of miseducation of lies that they built the pyramids. They were here first. We were monkeys. They created everything. They were the first civilizations. Lies, lies, lies. So if you can, in Christopher Columbus discovered America, if you can listen to them lies for 18 years, you can listen to Brother Sharif give you proof Look at all them people there. It's no different than what's going on now. No different. And don't sit around and say, oh, that's rough what's going on in Virginia, because it's coming here too. Virginia is one of the worst states when it comes to slavery and the treatment of black people. It's documented that the first slaves was brought here, what? And I think it was 1611 or 1621 in Jamestown, Virginia. The first slaves were brought um, here to America in Jamestown, Virginia. I believe it was 1621. All my uh, uh, historians out there correct me on that because I don't know everything. I was either, I believe it was 1621, the first slaves were brought here, but it was Jamestown, Virginia. That state is wicked, but all the other 49 states is right behind them. What state do you know that black people haven't been oppressed and mistreated and abused and murdered and killed and lynched? Every single one, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just to what degree. So we got to buckle up and knuckle up, family. This stuff, they are not playing. They are not playing. You can sit around and be in your little bubble if you want and think that, oh, well, I have uh, white friends at work and this, this and that. OK, see where they are when it's about to go down. When this is about to go down, see where they are. It's the same thing. It's the same thing thing excuse me it's the same thing so we got to get serious and you're gonna have to choose what you're gonna do and who you're gonna be with because it's about to go down it's about to go down these people are not playing rammed a car into human beings just today and they said this is the worst hate crime a uh, gathering or protest, whatever you want to call it, in decades, in decades, and it's going to get worse and it's going to spread. So keep listening to these messages. Stay woke. If you go somewhere and travel, try not to travel by yourself. If you're out at nighttime, try to have someone with you. It's about to get real, as they say. It's about to get real. And all this uh, and, uh, uh, chummy and buddy and uh, it ain't what, it, what you think and that's only a few of them doing that. Nah, that's not, that's not what's real. Go to Isaiah in the Old Testament. I think it's chapter 14. It says, is this the man? It's talking about the devil. Is this the man that caused nations to tremble? It says, is this, oh, oh how Lucifer has risen. Is this the man, not the spirit, 
not someone with a pitchfork in the ground and all this fake stuff. It says, is this the man? Is this the man that made nations tremble? That's right there in Isaiah and the Old Testament talking about Lucifer, Satan, the devil. They're coming. They're coming. We got to stay woke. I thank you for listening. I leave you in peace as I came to my Muslim family. Salaamu Alaikum. To my Hebrew Israelite family. Shalom. To my Christian family. Praise the Lord. Uh, to my black conscious family. Hotep. And to my people in the streets. What's good to you? It all means peace. Let's lock up. Playtime is over. Go to Hour of Power. Sharif Hamid, subscribe and share. I leave you in peace as I came. Assalamu alaikum.